Hey, so my name is John and I'm the developer of DropZone. In this video, I'm gonna give you a short introduction to the app and go over some of the features. So after you run DropZone, you'll have this new menu item up in your menu bar and you can click on that to open what's known as the DropZone grid. And in your DropZone grid are all your folders and actions that you have added to DropZone. You can drag actions around to uh, reorder them. Or if you hold down the option key, you can remove actions from the grid. And in the top left here, you'll see this white plus. You can click on that to add new actions into your grid. So for example, if I want to add a flicker action, I can choose flicker from the menu and it will be added into the grid. Up the top here, you'll see these uh, little chevrons. You can click on that to hide the top section of the grid, which you don't always need. You can click on it again to open it back up. To hide the drop zone grid, you just click somewhere else and the grid will disappear. So with drop zone installed, you'll notice that when you drag a file now, an overlay appears at the top of your screen and you can drag onto this overlay to open the drop zone grid. You can then drop the file onto any one of your drop zone actions. In this case, I'll drop it onto the downloads folder and the file will be immediately moved into that folder. Another cool feature of Drop Zone is that you can use it using only the keyboard. To open the Drop Zone grid, you press F3. You'll then see that a letter is overlaid on each of your actions, and you press the letter corresponding to the action you want to run. So for example, to open the Downloads folder, you press D. You can easily change the key assigned to each action by opening the drop zone grid, right clicking on the action you wish to change, and then choosing edit from the menu. You can then change the services key to the new key you want to use. Another feature I'd like to show you is using drop zone to upload images to the imager uploading service. After you install DropZone, you'll notice that the imager action already comes set up in your grid. To use it, you just drag an image onto the imager action. The image is then uploaded and the URL is placed on the clipboard. You can then paste the URL into another application. When using the imager action, it's a good idea to link it to an account. That way you can edit, delete, and organize your existing uploads. You can do this by opening the drop zone grid, right clicking on the imager action, and choosing edit from the menu. You then choose upload with your imager account, and click the link account button to finish the process. DropZone keeps a list of recently shared URLs so that you can easily reshare an item that you uploaded earlier. To access this list, open the DropZone grid and then click on the recently shared menu. You can then choose the item and the URL will be copied to the clipboard. Dropbar gives you a place to hold files for easy access. To use Dropbar, you just drag a file onto the Dropbar icon. The file is then added to the Dropbar section of the grid. Note that Dropbar just keeps a link to the file and doesn't copy the file itself. Once a file is in Dropbar, you can drag it somewhere else. You can also drag a file in Dropbar onto an action in your grid. You can also create a Dropbar stack with multiple files. And you can have multiple Dropbar stacks. You can also combine stacks together by dragging them on top of each other. To remove a Dropbar stack, you can just hold down the Option key and then click the cross that appears. You can also lock items in Dropbar so that they remain in your drop zone grid even after you drag them somewhere else. This is useful for files that you use regularly and need to keep available. 
To lock an item in drop bar, you just open the drop zone grid, and then right click on the item in drop bar you want to lock. You then choose lock item from the menu. When you drag that item somewhere else, a reference to the file will remain in drop zone. The last feature I'd like to show you is how to install and use a third party drop zone action. To do this, open the drop zone grid and then click the plus icon in the top left. You should then choose more actions from the menu and a web page will open showing the various actions you can install. In this case, we're going to install the Say Text action, so you click Install and the action will be downloaded by DropZone. You then click Add to Grid to add the action into the grid, and click Add again on the dialog that comes up. When you open the DropZone grid now, you'll see that the Say Text action has been added into the grid and is ready to use. To use the Say Text action, select some text that you want read aloud. Then use the keyboard shortcut Control Option Command D, and the drop zone grid will open. You'll then be asked which action to use the text with. Press S to use the Say Text action. Testing the Say Text drop zone action. Note that you can also use the Control Option Command D shortcut to send files into Drop Zone using only the keyboard. To do this, select a file that you want to use with Drop Zone in the Finder. Then press the shortcut. The Drop Zone grid will then open, and you'll be asked to press the key for the action you want to use. In this case, I'll press P, and the file will be moved into the Pictures folder. Thanks for watching this introduction to Drop Zone. If you have any questions, our forums are a good place to start. You can also write us an email or send us a tweet.